Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Mel. I'm half of Hustlin' Hooks, and it's Sunday here at our house. Currently, I'm getting ready to batch a bunch of shoe photographs. So I have this whole pile that I've set up that it's going to be easy for me to pull from. I washed and cleaned them all yesterday, so I'll, be, I'll just pull them up, put them in picture mode. Our setup isn't fancy, it's just this fake fur rug and we put it up so that the backs and the bottoms just have that same textured look and it's consistent. So all our shoes are done the same way, so they look all the same. And this is my first photograph. This is just how I do it. I kind of go through the same setup each time with my shoes so I know I'm angling them right. So this is my first one. So in the photo, they get the side and the front, then I'll do the front, then I'll do the sides, then I'll reverse them, ugh, ugh. then I'll reverse them. I'll get the backs, I'll get inside, I'll get the sizing, always get the bottoms, and then I'll get any features, anything special where there's words, but I'll also point out any flaws and get close-ups. So on these, on this tongue, on the inside, there's a hole here, and I'm gonna disclose that. Uh, it doesn't actually affect the function of the shoe, and people probably won't even feel that, so. We're still gonna sell them as is, but let them know that there's that. So this is obviously going to take a little bit of time, but the nice thing is that I'll have a bunch of photos on my phone that I can just work through at my pace today and then the rest of the week as well. And obviously we can always take more photos and add into that later. So that's what I'll be doing now. And then later in this video, we'll show you what sold today. So here are all of the Saturday sales from yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and go through them, show you what's sold and get these packaged up. All right, we'll start with shoes. First pair, we actually sold these for my sister. We have nothing into them. We just sold it for her before she started selling. These are just Eddie Bauer shoes. They sold for $25 free shipping. They were hers. She wasn't wearing them anymore. Um, really good condition, relatively clean. Took a long time to sell, but they're out the door. It'll be about eight bucks to ship each pair. Next up, these pair of Isuzu, Isozo, uh, these Wave Bolt 5. Just wasn't a good buy. We bought these early on, so we're glad they sold, but it took almost a year to sell them. They sold for $23 with free shipping. Not a lot of profit. You know, we paid six bucks for them, so we'll make like five dollars, which is fine. We're just moving old inventory. And then these Keens. These Keen Kush, uh, really nice Keens. They sold for $38 of free shipping. Uh, we paid about six, you know, we pay six bucks on average for shoes. So we'll get these put in shoe boxes and get them shipped. And here are the boxes we use for shoes. They're called shoe box, but you don't have to just ship shoes in them. Free off of USPS.com. We get them in the bundles of 25. When we ship them, we ship them as priority mail. We don't ship them with the shoe box as the carrier designated package. The only time we do that is when we ship with padded envelopes. We select the uh, 12 by nine and a half padded envelope. That's the flat rate shipping. But for these, shipping is always uh, variable. It's not always uh, flat rate with these boxes. It's anywhere from like $7.80 up to like $12, depending on where they're going. So anyways, we're gonna box these up. All we do is we just simply uh, use craft paper, uh, wrap the shoes, stack them this way uh, put some padding on the bottom and top and get them shipped all right shoes are nice and packed on to the next items okay on to the next category pots and pans and a lid this Calphalon lid sold for $22 with free shipping it'll ship for about eight bucks uh, so about an eight dollar profit which is fine uh, super easy we've sold plenty of lids before and if you watch our previous video, you saw uh, we, that we listed this Farberverse electric skillet. It actually sold overnight for $75 with free shipping. And uh, we'll, it'll cost us about $15 to $20 to ship it. And we also had another really nice sale. This is a Wolfgang Puck 9 quarts uh, soup pot or stock pot. Um, we definitely asked premium and it took a little bit longer to sell. It took about two months. Here's the brand so you can see it so you can look out for it. Wolfgang Puck does really well for us. Um, this unit or this piece sold for $90 with free shipping and it'll cost about $15 to ship it. So let's get these packed up. All right, so here's how I'm going to get this lid shipped. So I made a cross with some bubble wrap. So all I'm gonna do is just bubble wrap it. 
this way the other way it's glass obviously so it's a little bit fragile but it's also surrounded by a metal rim so it has a decent amount of protection and then all i'm going to do is put it in the shoe box but i'm not going to uh, erect the box i'm just going to slide it in and tape up the sides and i'll show you that in a second it's almost done so i've taped up one side and then uh, folded in these flaps and i'm just going to pinch tape uh, i can use a priority box because i'm shipping a priority and then after i'm done taping it I'm just going to slide it into a poly mailer for moisture protection and it's set to go. Pretty easy. So now that it's taped up, it just simply goes inside this poly bag. Poly bags are super easy to close. And that's done. So there's one example of how you can use a shoe box and not ship shoes in it. Um, there you go. And then as far as measurements, you're obviously going to take the width and length. And then as far as height, you really want to just estimate the thickest uh, point of this very high. So it's probably going to be about, you know, two or three inches high. So there's a lid. Next up is this Wolfgang Puck uh, 9 quart. Let's take a moment and appreciate that it actually fits almost perfectly inside of a box. It's so rare that that happens. Just bubble wrap the lid and then take my craft paper, wrap the entire pot, fill all these gaps, it closes perfectly so that's a very very easy one to ship a minute later bubble wrap the top put void gap uh, paper on the corners i'm just going to put a little bit of paper on top just to make it bulge out a little bit and just to give it a little bit of padding on the top because that's where the that's the most fragile part the bottom i'm not really worried about because it's made out of stainless steel it's very difficult to damage all right all done nice and easy and the final packing tip for this video is going to be this uh, skillet. So I found a big enough box. Unfortunately, it's gonna take some custom work. Uh, but first thing I'd like to do is just lay it out inside the box to see roughly what I need to cut. Um, so I'm just going to trim the box to get rid of this space here. And then I'm gonna trim the box to get rid of some of the height. And then it should be relatively straightforward. Again, made, not, made out of steel. I'm gonna bubble wrap, uh, paper wrap it. It should be fine. So step one, uh, just cut this section off. You're gonna have to use the knife to trim because of the tape. So now we have that opened up. Now we're going to measure here and here and get that scored. And we're gonna fold these new flaps in and fold this flap up. And we're actually gonna use this piece to protect it some more. So I'll show you that in a second. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see the score marks or not. Looks like you can. So I scored it roughly uh, across the same line. I've cut these flaps in so I can just lift this up now and that's gonna be roughly my box. And just for demonstration, I'm gonna fold this piece in with one hand. So once the other flap is closed, you'll see that there will be a gap. So we're gonna use that cut off piece and put it back um, to close up the box. So there's most of it is done. Okay, so those flaps are in. Now I take that cut off piece. I just basically put it right back into the box. It should fit perfect. Position it here and there you go. So now you have a smaller box. Obviously we still need to do some taping and we still need to reduce the height. So let's do that next. Okay, so I've scored the box and cut the edges. Now I just basically fold in. have a smaller box so the only thing that's left is bubble wrap cardboard wrap uh, gap fill you don't need to see that you've seen that before but that's a pretty straightforward way to reduce a box to fit all packed up not pretty but it'll do okay next up we have a pair of torrid leggings that sold for $22 on Poshmark and we have this Nerf gun that sold pretty quickly for $29 with free shipping just gonna bubble wrap it, put it in a poly bag. This just goes into a poly bag. Last thing from Saturday that sold is this Technics five disc uh, CD player. It sold for seventy dollars with free shipping, and again it'll cost about fifteen or so dollars to ship it out. We got this in a private pick. We had posted that we're resellers here locally, and one of our neighbors um, asked us to come and take a look at some stuff. We we're about ten dollars into it. Um, took about a month to sell, maybe a month and a half. So done with shoes, this was a total of 22 pairs that I photographed. I did have to do some manual measuring. These are samples by Sperry 
And if you ever have to do that, you can look up their size charts or just look up conversion charts and you can take a measuring tape or measuring ruler, whatever, and measure up the centimeters from the longest part of the toe to the heel and then compare that to the chart and then you'll get your size. So next we're going to put them to be inventory and move on to the next thing. So earlier, Dean covered what sold yesterday. I'm going to go over what sold today. But first, I wanted to go over what we did today with some aging inventory. These are all clothes that we got from either bulk buy, store buyouts, or from our own inventory. And it's just been sitting for a while. We're not going to make any money off them at this point. It's best for us to just purge and get back that storage space. So... It's good every now and again, just go through your inventory and see if you can just purge a little bit, if you can. So we're just going to take this to Goodwill and not pick it up when we see it. Okay, so let's get into what sold today. This is a men's L.L. Bean puffer jacket. And I was, I just picked it up. I saw it sitting on the racks, walked over just to see what it was about. And puffer jackets and puffer vests as well sell really well, especially now, fall and winter. Uh, it's in really great condition. Um, there's a little bit of stain by the cuffs that was disclosed, but you can see nothing major. I picked it up for seven and it sold for 50. And what's nice about these is they're big and they're warm, but they're also really light. So this is actually, this might actually ship first class. So between five and 752 to ship it is all. Okay, so next up we have this brown Woolrich. It's a bigger size, it's a women's extra large. Uh, you can see it's really getting into cozy, comfy wear season. Very soft, fuzzy. And this was a posh sale. It sold for $39. I sent an offer out on it. And they'll pay shipping. And we have about a dollar into it. We got this at a place that we call pay what you want because you pay what you want when you go there. It's donation based. So if you haven't seen our haul videos from that, go back. We've done some crazy epic ones from there. It's nuts what we find at that place. Okay, and then next we have this Calphalon lid, just a replacement lid. Picked it up for a dollar at Goodwill and this sold for 22. It'll be about eight bucks to ship it out. We'll just wrap some bubble wrap around there, put it in a box. These are always great sellers for us. This is a rainbow vacuum part. We tend to part them out when we get them because they ship easier, they ship for less. And this one, like the other one we sold the other day, is going to Puerto Rico again. So it'll be about $15 to ship, which is a little bit more than normal, but they paid 39 and we paid five dollars okay next we have some curlers these are new inbox uh the very beginning of our ebay journey we picked up some pre-owned curlers and they sat for a very long time uh so i don't think people want other people's hair <laughs> on their products so new inbox this sold for 50 and we only have five dollars into it and it's only going to be about eight to ten dollars to ship that out hmm. and then we have this briar horse this was enough i think uh you have it in the listing that it doesn't stand <laughs> i'm leaving this part <laughs> okay i also sold this briar horse it's a it's a bit gimpy it doesn't stand but I disclosed that in the listing, so they're aware. Uh, it's still sold for 20 bucks, and it's going to ship first class for about 5 I picked a bunch of these Briar Horses up in a bulk buy, and all together they are probably about 7 bucks a piece. And the other ones, the actual money makers have already sold, so this is just sort of clearing out the lame ones now. <laughs> Hashtag pots and pans. We sold this Emerald. It is a three quart with the lid, sold really fast. Emerald does for us. And it sold for 50. 
$10 to ship. We have about 15 into it. We also sold this bread pan. Uh, it's sold for $35 and we only have about 50 cents into it. So it's a pretty good return. It's going to be about $10 to ship that out. And then lastly, we have new with tags Ed Hardy jeans. Not a brand we normally pick up, but they were new with tags and they sold for $32. We picked them up at Goodwill for five bucks and we're going to put them in a flat rate padded mailer and they'll ship for $7.52. That's it for this video. We hoped you liked it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow us over on Instagram, also Hustle and Hooks. We share our daily bolos over there. And we'll see you next time.